Hello, everyone. I am from South Central Conference. I'm in the South, Alabama, Huntsville, Alabama. And I'm originally from Orlando, Florida, but I've been living in Huntsville, Alabama for a long time. There so we go. Come and see us sometime. So the southeastern part of the United States there in Alabama. Cool. Well, yes. um, we're, time is yours. Please share with us. We had a, a materials list that you gave us. So hopefully we have all of our materials ready to go because you've got a lot of coloring for us to do together. Yes, I have a lot to share. The Artist Award is just so fun, but it's very time consuming. So we're going to cover some of the most important things and we'll move from there. How about that? Sounds good. Go ahead and share your screen so that we can see your PowerPoint. Um, see the green button there? Hold on just a second. Oops, sorry. Okay. No problem. Having some difficulties. Okay, well, would it help if I shared it from my screen? Would that be of help to you? Uh, yes, I kind of changed it up a little bit, but it's okay. That's okay. It's all good because you're in Google Slides, so I, I see the same new thing that you do. Okay, so here, well, Tim, here we... you put the latest one for uh, me? I will. One I believe Thank that's you. what I have right here. Okay. Okay, do you see it there, Mrs. Phillips? Uh, there we go. Oh, there we are. Okay, I'm going to roll back up to the top for just a second. Okay. I can't see it. Okay. My name is Lynetta. Okay, do you, Phillips. are we, ha um, Pastor Dayon, is it presenting for all of you? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, we ready? We are. Okay. All right, so someone is trying out their crown over there. They looking good. Um, that's gonna be a part of the artist award as well. So work on that with your colors. We can add that to complement your um, Esther crown, okay? Um, let's move to the slide, second slide, just move again for me. Okay, what is an artist? Can anybody tell me what an artist is in your own term? You can write it in the chat. Okay, and Pastor Dayon, can you manage both chats for me? Because I've got it full screen shared here and that makes it hard for me to read chats. What do we have? Okay, someone says someone who paints or draw. What else? Anyone who is created exactly. Keep going. Yeah, I love that creative word. Okay, don't stop being creative. I need you to continue. Someone who is artistic. I think that's what they had said. Uh -huh. If you need, okay. All right, somebody who is this loves music, they love to dance, they love to do poetry, they love to paint, whatever it is, God has given you so many tools to be creative. In his word, he says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So God gave us the, um, the charge to be creative. Can someone tell me what can find, tell me something that is a, the color red. Yes? Somebody said yes? Write yeah. it in the chat. Something that is red that you know about in your world that is red. I'm thinking of apples. Every, since I'm a teacher, every once in a while, somebody brings me an apple and it's often bright red. Right, apples. What else could be red? 
lava. There we go. Strawberry. Okay. Give me some more. Come on, give me some more. Strawberry sounds delicious. Pillow, shoes, your t-shirt, blood. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Blow down. We also have some answers on the Facebook where people are saying, uh, Jenny is saying. Okay, lava. I don't know what a blow down is. Do you guys know what a blow down is? We also, have, we also have on the Facebook uh, tomatoes. <laughs> uh, we have fire. Lava. There you go. And apple. Okay. What about something yellow? Name something yellow. Yellow. Okay, when I think of yellow, mustard. I think of the sunshine. The sunshine, I love the sunshine. Uh, on a Facebook, they're saying it's a yellow jumper. A, a yellow what? Jumper. Jumper. Okay. Maybe a favorite piece of clothes. Also, we or have like a that. we have a banana, and we have a mm -hmm. sun is yellow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, tell me something that is blue anything that's blue see yes the sky mm -hmm. sky water okay what else don't stop being creative let's go let those creative juices flow Shoes, somebody car. says emoji is blue emoji <laughs> yes yes all Most right, of the emojis I know are yellow, so I think they're a little bit behind or something. Yellow. I guess blue if you're depressed, but we want Maybe to be so. happy. Okay. All right. Blueberries. Yes. The Bible. Okay. All right. Last question I'm going to ask, I think. Um, what's your favorite color? Ooh, what is your favorite color? Ooh. Are we ready to go to the next slide, um, Mrs. Yes, Phillips? Yes. Okay, so there's some there's some like options for them when they come to favorite colors. Right. You may have a variety of colors. Well, my favorite color in the whole white world. Can anybody guess? I want to guess blue. Well, it's a blue, but it's really purple. So purple is my favorite color. So my hair is purple, and I just like color. God made color. You should enjoy color. Artists, you can always kind of spot an artist. They like to color. They like to wear bright, loud clothes, and their hair is different. So you might say, hmm, she might be an artist. Hmm, he might be an artist, some type of artist, right? Yeah, my daughter's favorite color is orange. So I'm sure she saw that orange? on here and goes, oh, love orange. Yep. Love orange. Yes, I love oranges. Oranges in Orlando are great. The grapefruits are great. So mm -hmm. make sure you make a trip to Florida, the galaxy. I love that. All right. So what we see right here is what we call a color wheel. Are you familiar with a color wheel? Anybody? It looks kind of like a wheel. That's what we're noticing here is that it looks round like a wheel. Yes, and there's so many colors that God has created that you can mix any color to come up with another color. So if you bought your paint, your crayons, your markers, whatever you bought, and you have time to do that later, you could draw a wonderful sunset, a wonderful tree, flowers, whatever it is, whatever mm -hmm. God has inspired you to do. So we're going to do some color um you can move to the next one i think it is that one there uh, yeah or or yes. were you wanting or were you wanting to talk about how you mix colors oh yeah let me let me rewind just a little bit so red to my to my right yep, probably your right left. too no it'll be their right as well okay okay thanks all right so red and blue equals what everybody Purple. Well, red and blue okay, equal well, purple. I, I know I see that there. Red plus blue equals purple. So, but you said yellow plus blue, right? 
I don't know. I thought I said <laughs> I thought I said red plus blue equals purple. I may have oh, said okay. it. There we go. All right. So yellow plus blue equals what, boys and girls? Yes. So keep mm -hmm. moving. Red plus yellow equals what, boys and girls? Ooh. Give you time there. Red plus, thank you, yes, yes. So these are your basic three colors that can make pretty much anything from just these three colors. And you probably say, hmm, how is that possible? Well, it is possible. And, but through time, man has created some extra colors to make colors kind of make them more pop and everything. But for the most part, you can make whatever you need to make from these three basic colors, okay? All right, you can move on. Okay. Okay, so here's one of our assignments. If you are able to purchase your poster boards, if you don't have poster board, if you don't have any poster board, it's okay. If you have regular construction paper, that's okay. Whatever you have today is gonna be okay with me all right and so they're and, and their goal time, and is their goal to make the tertiary colors is that what we're seeing here i'm sorry and they're trying to make the different colors yes okay because in their worksheet they actually have a circle with six like pie shaped things and there's red okay. blue and yellow mentioned and then they have to main, name the they have to color in the parts between the red blue and yellow so they've got it right built in, right ready for them to do. It's on like page three of their worksheet. All right, well, that's awesome, Mark. They can use that. This is just an extension if they wanna go beyond the workshop. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm sorry, the worksheet. So, okay, so I just, me as an artist, sometimes I go off the grid, which I have. Oh, good. So I like to bring in things that, that kind of make it a little bit more simple for me. Oh, please, um, please share with us. We are very interested. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Can you see these colors? Yeah. Okay, so you don't have to buy expensive paint or expensive tools to be an artist, but become an artist, successful artist, you will have to invest in some good equipment, but we're just gonna keep with the basics. So what I, what you see here, can you see me? Move it up just a little bit. There you go. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, so what you see here are the three primary colors, okay? So the requirement requires that you should be able to mix these three colors and make some more colors, okay? Um, so just some supply, some, supply rules I wanted to go over real quick with you, like your paint brushes, okay? Your paint brushes are very important. When you are using your paint brushes and paint brushes come in all different types and all sizes. You got big ones, little ones, short ones, for whatever need your need is. But when you're painting, you want to make sure that you are taking care of your brushes, your bristles, this is called a bristle, okay, mm -hmm. on your brush. Make sure you're taking care of that because then they start looking like really crazy, like an alien or something. So make sure you take care of your brushes, okay? And I have some water here. When you're using your brush, dip your brush in the water, take it to the side, and that will get the extra water off or what we call is, I call it milk the cow, milk the cow. So you can take the extra water off and the extra paint off. Make sure you have your paper towels, something to keep your area clean. If you wanna wear an apron, because we can get messy with as an artist, okay? So make sure you have permission from your parents that you can paint or do some fun things, okay? All right, so can anybody tell me who God appointed in the Bible as an artist 
architect, uh, craftsman. Can anybody name that person? He assigned someone specifically. He assigned a couple of people. Can anybody tell me? Hmm. Noah? Noah, no, you got to go back a little further. Go back to the tabernacle. Look, yeah. I'll give you another hint. Exodus, Exodus chapter 36. And you should see someone's name starts with the letter B. Yes, someone just said it. I just saw it. I don't know who it was. Bell. Bell Zaliel. Yeah, Samuel and Michael got it. Yes, yes. So God appointed this man, young man, to be an artist, to be in charge of the tabernacle and the things that were in the tabernacle. So they were assigned a special job. Can you believe that God put the artist in place for us to have, um, to show us what the tabernacle looks like? So God, the creative creativeness was in his plan all along, okay? So... If you could take me back to the screen, Mark. Yep, sure can. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let me make sure, is this okay. the one we're supposed to be on? Oh, which uh, one were we? Go back to the one, that one right there. Okay. Excellent. So if you have your paper or your poster paper, okay, if you can go ahead and fold it in half. Okay. Fold okay, so half. should we still be on this page or should we make it so that they can see you in a big square? Um I, let me go through this one first and then they can then you can show me on the big screen. Okay. Is that okay? Yep. Okay. So after you fold your paper or your poster board in half. I need you to make some squares, at least four squares. The first square you're gonna color red, the second square you will color yellow, and the third square you will color blue. Then after that, if we have time, we're gonna make some more, mix some more colors, okay? All right, Mark, you can turn me to the full screen so they can see this um, poster. Excellent, there you go. Okay. So the requirement, there are some requirements for the artist award, and you can combine a couple of those to make your requirement, to meet your requirement. So one is an invitation and the other is a poster. So why not combine those two together? So today we're going to have an art show. Okay. So maybe you want to have an art show. Okay. The art show may emphasize the stencils, the shapes. Okay, I'm utilizing shapes. I'm utilizing the primary colors. Okay. And primary colors, just oh. to review for all of us, that's the that's the red, the blue, and the yellow, right? That is correct. Okay. And red and blue makes everybody without looking red and blue makes can you see that? Makes purple. Yeah, there yes, we go. Thank you. Thank yeah, and you, Samuel Sam and Michael and also say in chat, purple, good. So does Felicity. <laughs> okay. So do we have our squares? If you have your squares ready, we're going to keep going, okay? But on the inside, I demonstrated the three colors, the three main colors, red, yellow, and blue. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So what you see further down are, will be my activity time. So once you do the first three, then we can go here. Okay. So let me show you how to do red and blue. Red and blue makes what, boys and girls? Purple. 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 Okay. Purple. Purple. So give me a second. Purple. I'm going to mix these two colors. Ooh, and you used your paints, and sure enough, the blue and the red together look purplish. That's cool. 
So the more I mix the red and the blue, that will give me the purple. So what am I supposed to do with my brushes, boys and girls, once I finish with that color? Milk the cow. <laughs> yes, milk the cow. Yeah. Oh, good yes. deal. Yes. So now I'm going to demonstrate blue and yellow. You see the green coming through? You'll have to hold it up a little bit higher once you've got it done. Ah, oh. well, that's pretty cool. So you just took the blue paint and the yellow paint and it just did the green, right? Yeah, exactly. Cool. All right, so am I missing a color? Blue and yellow makes green. Purple, I'm sorry, blue and yellow makes green. Red and blue makes purple. What am I missing, boys and girls? Red and yellow. Red and yellow. Red and yellow. Yeah. All right. Let's try. Okay. Some red. I'm going to be really, really interested about what happens when you do this, Mrs. Phillips. All right. Let's see what red and yellow gonna give us. Orange. Orange. Yes. Now, now, orange. Mrs. Phillips, got to ask you an artist kind of question. If I all want right. different shades of orange, if I want like a lighter orange, would that mean more yellow and a darker orange is like more red? Is that how I would do that? Yes. So if you want a lighter color, is that the question you just said? Yeah. Like if I want it to be lighter orange, like more yellowy orange, would I put more yellow than red? More yellow, less orange. Okay. So, so let me see. So I can kind Hold of on, add a little bit more it. here or a little bit less there and kind of change my colors even. I'm going to put it in the next box, okay? Yeah, so as I've noticed, you've like put three paint brushes of yellow and only one of red, and that does have a different shade of orange, doesn't it? Right. Very different. So it's, it's still orange, it's but still it's a very orange. different version. A light orange. Yeah. A light orange, correct. So when you're doing your colors, whatever color you're really wanting the most, either you put more or you're going to put less. There we okay? go. Nice. All right. So, and this is something you can keep and share and you can have your own art show and yep. share it with your friends and neighbors that you can create an art show portfolio. That's a big word, portfolio. Okay. Yes. All right. How are we doing on time, Mark? We have, we have 14 more minutes. Oh my goodness, 14 time, more minutes. Oh. Time flies when you're having fun. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's move forward quickly. Um, would you turn it on to the slide, the video for me? And this is right. another form of art, boys and girls, the computer, okay? Okay, so we've the, done that. The video, Mark, the last, okay, I think it's number yeah. 10. There we go. All right. This program is called Doodly, and it's very fun. And if you're not an art artist, it will help you and guide you. Okay. So be patient with me. Okay. All right. Okay. Go this ahead. is a yeah, cool online software program called Doodly. Here we go. Let's play it.
oh, didn't want it to slide there. Want to look at that page before we exit because it looked like there's some was some really good advice for us there. Um, Mrs. Phillips, like we can use finger paint, colored pencils, felt markers, watercolors, all kinds of ways to make a design, huh? Right, and even charcoal. If you haven't been familiar with that, charcoal is a tool, but it's messy, but it's good. Uh, well, I've noticed that sometimes parents love to use chalk instead of charcoal and have kids go outside and use the chalk on the sidewalk. I've seen that happen sometimes because you can, that way you can feel what charcoal, how it works. But since it's with chalk and it's outside, mommies and dads don't mind quite as much. Okay, so should I exactly. press, press play again or should I stop there, Mrs. Phillips? How, how much longer does it, I think it's a three minute, then after one that- minute and One minute and 34 seconds left. Okay, would you finish it? And then we're gonna go to the whiteboard. Absolutely, let me figure out where we are. Where did it go? Okay, there we go. All kinds of cool stuff there. Right, there's so many cool things you can do now while you're on, um, not able to go out as much. There's different software out there. There's YouTube. There's so many things now. That is a paid program, but if you want to know more about it, just let me know. If you want classes, just let me know. Um, yeah, Doodly is a lot of fun. Um, yes, I did notice on that last part of the video that it was showing us some other colors that weren't just the the secondary colors. It was like three colors mixed together. There was a primary color, there was a tertiary color, and then there was often white. Oof. That was pretty cool how that makes all kinds of, there's so many ways to make colors. Right, okay, so, right. so, so, that, so now we need, to... go ahead. Oh, I was just saying you're not limited to just the colors when you first started out. Like you talked about the multi-culture colors that are out. There's so many colors to choose from mm -hmm. um, beyond the rainbow. I do graphic design with computer and they say that there are 15.7 uh, million colors or is it 16.7 million? That's a lot of options. Wow, wow, wow. That's okay. A lot.